regular highway has never been a favorite for Utah commuters, but it remains a key artery for traffic on Salt Lake Valley's west side. Well, starting Friday, tomorrow, a new headache for commuters at 134th and Bangor. UDOT is closing traffic in both directions until 2025. We're expecting to open it up again next fall. This is all so that we can complete a freeway style interchange. The closure, a part of a decade long effort to make the highway more of a freeway with interchanges instead of stoplights. This is one of four that we're working on this year across Bangor Highway. What this is going to do, it's going to improve safety and allow people to get to where they're going a little bit more conveniently and uh, with a little bit more ease. Getting deja vu? That's because UDOT started working at 47th South last month with plans to include 98th South coming up next. For commuters, Bangor construction is a headache, but for some residents, it's a permanent injury. Steve Nielsen's home is in the way of construction at 4100 South. We talked to him last year. Is saving two to five minutes on your evening commute or on somebody's evening commute worth demolishing 12 or 54 homes and upending people that have lived here for decades? UDOT acknowledges the loss, but they say traffic is already bad and it will double by 2050. Everybody that lives and works around here, it's important that they're, they're going to uh, want to know about this closure, and it is going to be impactful. Impactful starting right away, with Monday morning the key for commuters. At 134th South, the eastbound detour will take you along Old Liberty Way towards 126th South. The westbound detour will take you along 3600 West, also towards 126th South. It's really like any, any other um, new habit once you once you do it for a few days you get used to it but you know if you're surprised by it, if you don't have that information and you run into uh, restrictions that can be frustrating we want to avoid that and that 41st South construction so troubling to homeowner Stephen Nielsen that's slated for 2027.